Lesson 34 of A Course in Miracles. I could see peace instead of this. I could see peace instead of this. Now, our um, lessons have, have been very much related to seeing, to vision, to seeing, just as the entire course is. Uh, for example, God is in everything I see, lesson 29. God is in everything I see because God is in my mind, 30. I am not a victim of the world I see, 31. I have invented the world I see, 32. There's another way of looking at the world, 33. And now today, I could see peace instead of this. Here's paragraph one. The idea for today begins to describe the conditions that prevail in the other way of seeing. Peace of mind is clearly an internal matter. It must begin with your own thoughts and then extend outward. It is from your peace of mind that a peaceful perception of the world arises. Paragraph two. <clears throat> Three longer practice periods are required for today's exercises. One in the morning and one in the evening are advised with an additional one to be undertaken at any time in between that seems most conducive to readiness. All applications should be done with your eyes closed. It is your inner world to which the applications of today's idea should be made. Paragraph three. Some five minutes of mind searching are required for each of the longer practice periods. Search your mind for fear thoughts, anxiety provoking situations, quote, offending, unquote, personalities or events or anything else about which you are harboring unloving thoughts. Note them all casually, repeating the idea for today slowly as you watch them arise in your mind and let each one go to be replaced by the next. Paragraph four. If you begin to experience difficulty in thinking of specific subjects, continue to repeat the idea to yourself in an unhurried manner without applying it to anything in particular. Be sure, however, not to make any specific exclusions. Paragraph five. The shorter applications are to be frequent and made whenever you feel your peace of mind is threatened in any way. The purpose is to protect yourself from temptation throughout the day. If a specific form of temptation arises in your awareness, the exercise should take this form. And this is in italics. I could see peace in this situation instead of what I now see in it. I could see peace in this situation instead of what I now see in it. Paragraph six, <clears throat> if the inroads on your peace of mind take the form of more generalized adverse, emo adverse emotions such as depression, anxiety, or worry, use the idea in its original form. If you find you need more than one application of today's, today's idea to help you change your mind in any specific context, try to take several minutes and devote them to repeating the idea until you feel some sense of relief. It will help you if you tell yourself specifically, I can replace my feelings of depression, anxiety, or worry, and then in brackets, or my thoughts about the situation, personality, or event with peace. So I can replace my feelings of depression, anxiety, or worry, or my thoughts about the situation, personality, or event with peace. All right, lesson 34. I could see peace instead of this. Let's read, we'll go, we'll go through paragraph by paragraph, talking about each one briefly. <clears throat> the idea for today begins to describe the conditions that prevail in the other way of seeing. Peace of mind is clearly an internal matter. It must begin with your own thoughts and then extend outward. It is from your peace of mind that a peaceful perception of the world arises. Projection makes perception. If we, if, if in our mind is peace, that will be, that will be, that will be the world that we see outside of ourselves. And if inwardly we're not at peace, we will see a disturbed world. It doesn't happen the other way around. Although we think it, it, although we think it does. It, every, everything really starts in our mind. So we're aiming at peace of mind and we could see peace of mind instead of what we're seeing right now. And, and what we need to do is first, we need to be aware of, of what's happening in our mind. And we have to stop denying 
that what is in our mind is not having an effect on what we're seeing. Paragraph two, three longer practice periods are required for today's exercises. One in the morning and one in the evening are advised with an additional one to be undertaken at any time in between that seems most conducive to readiness. So three, three of these practice periods, um, maybe morning, afternoon, and evening. All applications should be done with your eyes closed. It is your inner world to which the applications of today's ideas should be made. So you need to do all of these with your eyes closed today. Um, you're, you're looking at your inner world, right? I could see peace. You look in your inner world and you notice all the things that are upsetting to you. And you say to yourself, I could see peace instead of this. Paragraph three. Some five minutes of mind searching are required for each of the longer practice periods. Search your mind for fear thoughts, anxiety provoking situations, quote, offending, unquote, personalities or events or anything else about which you are harboring unloving thoughts. Note them all casually, repeating the idea for today slowly as you watch them arise in your mind and let each one go to be replaced by the next. So you sit for five minutes and you search your mind and you notice all the things that are disturbing your peace of mind. Everything that is upsetting to you, anything about which you are harboring unloving thoughts. But you want to just note them. You just want to observe them casually. Just say, yep, there, there's one. There's another. You know, I, I have something against that person. <laughs> uh, I'm mad at that person. I'm, um, I, that, that, that what happened to me there was unfair and I'm upset about that. And so you just note all the things. And you repeat the idea slowly. Everything is done in an unhurried, relaxed way, as Jesus has been mentioning. No rush. Paragraph four. If you begin to experience difficulty in thinking of specific subjects, continue to repeat the idea to yourself in an unhurried manner. Without applying it to anything in particular, be sure, however, not to make any specific exclusions. So you just repeat the idea. If you don't have anything that comes to mind that's upsetting to you, you just repeat the idea about nothing in particular, but don't exclude anything either. Paragraph five, the shorter applications are to be frequent and made whenever you feel your peace of mind is threatened in any way. And this is, this is actually good all the time, you know, not just for this particular day, but this is a great one. This is a great lesson to just keep, keep in your back pocket anytime. I could see peace instead of this, right? I don't have to see it this way. I don't have to see this situation this, this way. There's another way to see the situation. Uh, right now I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the glass half full. I could, I mean, half empty and I could see it half full or fully full or, or there's no glass at all and everything is, is perfect, <laughs> in perfect divine order. Um, the shorter applications that be frequent and made whenever you feel your peace of mind is threatened in any way, the purpose is to protect yourself from temptation throughout the day. If a specific form of temptation arises in your awareness, the exercise should take this form. I could see peace in this situation instead of what I now see in it. So remember temptation, Jesus has been talking a lot about temptation, but this is not temptation in the sense of temptation to sin, right? Because <laughs> there is no sin. This is temptation to um, feel yourself separate from the whole, temptation to, um, to get upset, to get angry, to feel guilty, to feel in, in any kind of pain or suffering. That, that's temptation for the course. It's not temptation in, in the sense of like, temptation to, um, you know, look lustfully at someone or, um, you know, steal something or say something that you know probably is not gonna be a good thing to say. All of that too, but but this is not what te Jesus means by temptation. Temptation is is the um, temptation to see yourself as guilty, 
to see yourself as separate, to see yourself um, limited and lacking in any way. Six, if the inroads on your peace of mind take the form of more generalized adverse emotions such as depression, anxiety, or worry, use the idea in its original form. If you find, so if it's like more general things, then you just say, I could see peace instead of this. Um, if you find you need more than one application of today's idea to help you change your mind in any specific context, try to take several minutes and devote them to repeating the idea until you feel some sense of relief. It will help you to tell yourself specifically, I can replace my feelings of depression, anxiety, or worry, or my thoughts about the situation, personality, or event with peace. And you could tell yourself that as many times as you need to in order to, to change the situation, to change your mind about the situation, to change your seeing about the situation. So I could see peace instead of this. In a way, peace of mind is the goal of this course. That's what we're getting at is, is peace of mind. That's not, that's not a small thing. That's not a small gift. Um, nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. Um, when we get to that point in our minds, when we, when we really understand that and we really are living that, and our mind is habituated to that idea, then we will have attained peace of mind. And that's all we need to work on. Um, we can change our mind. And, and Jesus is helping us to do that, right? But only we can do that. You know, no one can do it for you. The course can't do it. Jesus can't do it. No one can do it. You have to do it. You have to make that choice to change your mind. But the, the thing that Jesus can do is he can say, yes, this works. This is possible right? That's what Jesus can do for us. He could say, this, this is true. This really works. Just try this and you will see. But Jesus can't force us. He can't coerce us. He can't, can't manipulate, manipulate us to do it. He can only say, this is good stuff. <laughs> Give it a try. So that's it for today, lesson um, 34. And Next one is 35. My mind is part of God's. I am very holy. We'll see you there. Thank you.